In this Optum Plus diet circuit, we want to show that it is acting as uh, an AC-DC adapter, and at the same time with the V in equal to 5 sinusoid 2000 pi T, we want to find what is V out as shown here. Okay, so if this is input in the form of a sinusoidal waveform or signal, then we know it should be sine of omega T, and 2000 pi is our omega. So omega, or ra um, radial frequency, is 2000 pi and uh, radian per second and uh, as a result since omega equal to 2 pi f or effectively equal to 2 pi over t the period and uh, the frequency of sinusoid we can say that the frequency is uh, 1000 hertz and uh, as a result the period of the sinusoid at input is 1 millisecond okay so with that in mind um, at the beginning, we make the assumption that these two caps shown here, these 200 nanofarad caps, are discharged and there is no charge in them. So in the first, um, take a look at this. Uh, this is time. This is Vn. So it's a 5 sine of uh, omega t. So the peak value of sine is 5 and uh, the negative peak, of course, is negative 5. And the whole time it takes is as we just discussed, is 1 millisecond, so half period here is 0.5 millisecond. So in the first 0.5 millisecond, and uh, till the first peak, you have 0.25 millisecond. So what is happening is, uh, from 0 to 0.5 millisecond in this period, input is increasing positively. So as V in is increasing, uh, at the beginning, as I said, make the assumption that both caps, they have 0 charge so zero volt is across them now when we in increase because uh, op amps are uh, ideal op amps we make the assumption that because positive voltage uh, positive input terminal of op amp has higher than voltage than the negative input terminal output jumps to maximum value so output jumps to maximum value uh, tries to do so as a result this diode shuts down and therefore the feedback here is for this op amp is closed and uh, therefore it doesn't pass any signal but on top side because of you're making the assumption ideal op amp is here therefore during the uh, rise of the signal input signal this op amp is short and therefore it's as if we have a complete buffer and uh, therefore the v in appears here at the output as well during the rise up and because uh, the output impedance of ideal op amp is very small so the charging time is pretty much faster than the combination of this 100 nanofarad and the 200 kilo ohm that you can see here that effectively the rc or tau associated with them is the series of um, 200 kilo ohm here that you have and then times the cap which is 100 nanofarad which turn out to be 20 millisecond so that's the discharge time or time constant which is negligible compared to in terms of its effect compared to the charge time so uh, via the output of op amp the cap especially i'm talking about this cap during the rise time its voltage gets to maximum five volt quickly so you get five volt appearing here in the very first alter uh, alternate of the sinusoid now as soon as we pass five volt and we are dropping at the input because the cap is 5, as, uh, therefore the input negative terminal has a 5 volt as soon as we get to the peak of 5. Um, then when we cross that and input tries to drop from 5 volt, then negative input terminal of op amp 1 remains at 5, but positive input terminal tries to drop after, you pa after we pass the 0.25 millisecond point. At that point, this op amp uh, output jumps to maximum negative value. And therefore, this up, this this diode uh, becomes an open circuit, and uh, from then point on, this cap remains at five because the discharge time via the 200 kilo ohm resist resistive path here uh, takes 20 millisecond for the time constant, while every one millisecond we get we get to this recharge of cap. The same thing happened to through the negative uh, sequence. So starting from 0.5 millisecond input signal start going toward negative value and at uh, 0.75 millisecond 
input signal gets to peak of negative value, negative 5 basically. At that point, again, uh, during the negative uh, cycle, uh, this op amp actually turns on, and uh, because it's an ideal op amp, uh, this, this diode turns on because it's an ideal diode, it gets short, shorted, and therefore this buffer is, va is valid and active. And therefore, during the negative cycle, first negative cycle, V in appears uh, at this point. So we see this negative cycle going on uh, from 0 to negative 5. During that process, again, we don't care about this 200 kilo ohm series. We are a very small value of output impedance of the ideal op amp. The cap gets charged to negative 5. So this cap gets to negative 5. And again, because after we cross 0.75 millisecond, when input signal start dropping, start increasing from negative 5 toward less negative values, then as a result, since the negative terminal of this op amp remains at negative 5, uh, and positive terminal starts dropping, uh, it starts in, uh, increasing value-wise, then this op amp jumps to positive value peak, and this diode shuts down. And therefore, as a result, what I'm trying to say is after going through the first uh, period of input signal, uh, what happens is both uh, the, the cap, the top cap, gets charged to plus 5, and the bottom cap gets to charged to negative 5. And effectively, the uh, structure remains like this, because, as I said, the 20 millisecond time constant of discharging of cap is much, much slower than the period of uh, sinusoid, which keeps the cap charged at plus minus uh, 5 uh, volt. So this will be our structure, effectively. And here is plus 5, here is negative 5 after the first period. This is what we have effectively in this circuit. And now the problem is much easier. We can use superposition. We have a 5 volt that effectively observe a non-inverting amplification, and we have a negative 5 volt as a second voltage that effectively observe an inverting amplification. So what we have for V out is for the uh, for the plus 5 volt that is observing non-inverting amplification, we know that uh, the output contribution is that 5 volt times... Uh, okay, so first we need to get to the positive terminal. So that's a voltage division between these 200 Ks, and of course half of, point, half of 5 volt gets to here, so 2.5. So I'm going to write here 2.5 times, and then... From the non-inverting uh, amplification formula, we know it's 1 plus um, this resistor divided by this resistor. So it's going to be 100K divided by 100K. And that's for the positive. For negative one, the second one, for the, that observe inverting amplification. So we have negative 5 times... So for the second one, we use superposition, assuming when we are dealing with the second one, the first one doesn't exist, it's zeroed. So in that case, positive input terminal is zeroed, and what we have is negative 100k divided by 100k. So as a result, what we observe is, as a result, what we observe is, this guy is 5, and this guy is also another 5. So V out effectively is plus 10 volt. So the steady state value of the output voltage after passing uh, the first period of input signal with the given 1000 hertz frequency is going to be 10 volt. And effectively this up and plus diode circuit acts like the uh, AC to DC adapter because from a 5 sinusoid 2000 pi T it generates a con roughly fixed constant 10 volt at the output. Um, I hope that this example is helpful.